Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here as the recording of this Thursday, February 1st, 2024, also known as Megacon Back to the Future Reunion Day, also the start of that convention at the Orlando Convention Center up on International Drive. Back to the Future is my all-time favorite movie. I am wearing an appropriate shirt, the Dave McFly Mickey shirt. If you know, you know. Join me, shall you? Four members of the cast are going to be there tonight. Four of the key members, some of the main players, if you will. We're going to be doing a panel a little bit later on this evening, which I have purchased tickets to the panel and purchased tickets to the convention. I ended up buying a four-day pass. I'm not sure if I'm going to go every day, but today I will definitely be there to see, possibly meet again, and witness the panel that's going to be happening later with Leah Thompson right up there, Tom Wilson, who I got signed right there. I also have Dave McFly. He's not going to be there, but I have his shirt on. Chris Lloyd will also be at the panel, as well as Michael J. Fox will also be talking about the films. Probably not going to get any autographs today, however, I am there for the experience. In fact, I thought about maybe bringing a couple more things to get signed, but of the four that are going to be there, the main four, I guess the only other one you can maybe throw in there about being one of the main four would be the fifth would be Crispin, who does not embrace the franchise at all. So I'm thankful that I got him signed right here. Many years ago, I met him at a radio station coming out of an interview. Yeah, pretty dang excited about today. I do have a soundtrack I could bring, an LP. I could get that signed. I could also get a laser disc signed, at least the cover of the laser disc signed. But I really don't feel like hauling any of this stuff around, and I don't want to get too much stuff. I, I think I, I think the poster kind of speaks for itself and is a good a good core memory. It's also fascinating to me because I kind of thought that there would be a lull in the fandom and the popularity of the the trilogy once 2015 hit, because that was when the the futuristic date was in part two. But that was almost nine years ago. What eight and a half, nine years ago? I'd say eight and a half because it was October of 2015. But it is more popular than ever. I, saw I, have this, I also have this USA Today that came out on October 22nd, 2015. It's also digging through some stuff and I found the ticket from the very first Back to the Future reunion I ever attended, which was in 08. So April 19th, 2008. Chris Lloyd, Bob Gale, and Claudia Wells from part one were there. Jeff Weissman from part two played George after Crispin didn't come back. About 20 years ago now, God, has it been that long? Got this tattoo. Got the 1004 when the lightning struck. I got Doc Brown there. I got the going back arrow from the font around the side. I got the out of time license plate. Then around the front, well, not the completely the front, but I have the plutonium suit. You got the DMC logo there. Now I'm looking at the website here just to see if the prices have changed since I bought my ticket. I think it was about $140, 139 the four-day pass, so you get all four days. You can also buy individual tickets. Now, even though the panel is free, well, it's included in the price of admission, for an additional $59, you can get the 6.45 entry to the 7 p.m. panel, so you get in a little early, or step it up a notch to 139 They call it the Platinum. First priority seating. Seats are not reserved. Get there promptly before 6.30. So that's the one I went for because I did this about five or six years ago. And the, the theater was so incredibly full, I just didn't want to, I wanted to make sure I had a good seat. So I went ahead and just, went ahead and just got the ticket. All right, got over to iDrive. Ended up parking at the Hyatt. structure over here. It's the Hyatt. I think it used to be the Peabody, right? It did. It's the Peabody back in the day. So Megacon's taking place across the way. World of Micah is here. I'm 
here. I'm ready. You ready for a little BTTF action? Dude, yes. There it is, right there. You got the clock. Also 10.04. You got the DeLorean. Man, the sun is very bright today. I was I had to make sure we got that correct. I've seen a lot of tattoos with the wrong time. Awesome. We're tattoo, we're tattoo uh, partners. Yeah, you got one too. <laughs> so this is just the line. This, this is just the line. All right. They'll sort you at the other end. All right, there are some exclusive MegaCon 24 exclusives that are happening specifically, including these handmade by robots. Look at this Marty right here. Look at this Dr. Emmett Brown. And then the DeLorean here, it almost looks like felt, like made out of felt. Take a look at those. It's pretty cool. So first of all, I thought they were gonna be like pop figures, but they're not. They're like different than pop figures. It's made to look like knit, but it is in fact like a hard substance right there as well. Collectible vinyl figure. It's called the Knit Series. They got Doc down there with the ready. Set. All right, Doc. We what? have to find Biff. He's infiltrated the Institute of Technology, but we can take you there across time to catch him with the eight passenger DeLorean. Great Scott! All right, since the last time I saw you, you got a, a little hoverboard there. Yeah, I love part two, so I got my little hoverboard there and I got a Stay Puft hat on it too. For Would you stuff. say part two is your favorite of the, of the films? I do tend to like it. I love It's View of the Future, but I love all of them almost equally. It just kind of nudges just a little bit. Yeah. How many how many Martys do you think we're gonna see today, you guys? I've seen like a hundred so far. A hundred Martys? <laughs> it's gonna be at least 45 and then when we go to the panel it's gonna multiply. Yeah, there's there's just a few people here for some signatures. No. So you just got the pit bull sign right here? You don't see too many pit bulls. It's pretty awesome. Tom signed it. Nice. Alright, so Michael J is doing so you get you get Pay for it over here, then you get a timed return time, and then Michael is actually over here in his own little private booth. And no personalizations from Michael. But I think everybody else might personalize their signatures. Who are you excited about meeting today, Doc? I'm excited about seeing everybody. All of them? Absolutely. I don't know. You going to the panel later? No. <laughs> no? All right, you gotta try to get in. It's gonna be busy in there. Good to see you, Doc. Good to see you. Thanks for taking the time. And you look so much like Adam DeWu. That's me. I like oh, no, you. But no, no, hold on for a second. He yeah. wears a mustache now because I saw the video. I today. shaved the mustache. For today. Uh, Doc and Marty over there getting some cash out of the ATM. Here. Like he had the part three shirt on here. Yep. Very, very nice. Roosevelt's. Oh, is that a Roosevelt yep. shirt? Very nice. I have to lug this thing around because, man, this is heavy. See what you did there. All right, you guys look all look awesome. Are you waiting to meet Michael? Yeah, yeah. Excellent. You're like almost the first one in line there. Whoop. Be like one of the first ones. You can put them back on though. Sorry. The, no, it's all good. The other one. You got the goggles yeah, and everything. All three. Oh, there's someone else. Yeah, he's, 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 he's in another line. Oh, he's over there. Yeah, he's over there. He's with the bit right now. They've got it all. They got it all split up. All right, have fun, guys. Thank you for being in the video. Wait, what am I doing? I'm not Go supposed. To, I'm not allowed to film in here. Take two. You're allowed. All right, well, just for this. Just for one. Okay, I'm gonna walk up like this. Walk back. Wait. Biff? Wait a minute. Oh, hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hi, everybody. Wait a minute. It's me, your old pal. Hi, all you woozies out there. It's me. Hey, look, look I told my back. Look at my back. Look at my, look at the, look at my back. Oh, okay. Dude. Okay. Two important messages. Fame bores me and Adam the Woo video adventures. <laughs> I think that might be the first time I've ever called you the B word. <laughs> Since we've known Let each me other. Tell you something. It's the last time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you're. Oh, wow. Huh? You're going into full mode right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How are you doing? Yes. How are you? You got a. This is Micah. I like you better than Micah. Hey, sorry. Yeah. Hey, no. Uh, you were. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'm just hugging. I'm hugging this guy. <laughs> no, what? No, yeah. Just hug everybody, Tom. Okay. Oh, oh, you could get hugs, but you're in the wrong line. <laughs> I didn't want to cut the line, so I waited in the line you to say hello to you. you I just, I didn't want to run up here and be that guy. No, that you might have, have been more entertaining, though. You didn't, have, you didn't have to do that. You can always cut the line, <laughs> unless I tell you not to. <laughs> <laughs> Whose is this? Is this? That is mine. That's yours. And now, 
I'm going to sign a wonderful piece of memorabilia to a huge super fan. We're cleansing him. <laughs> We're cleansing him from the Star Wars trilogy and training him to like actual good movies. Very close. <laughs> Very, pretty close? <laughs> well, what is your name? name? Alright, let me get back Matthew. to work, Tom. Matthew. It's Matthew. He's Matthew. He's Matthew. Alright. Uh, Micah, it's very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I always see your stuff and I, I watch your videos as well. Wow. I'm always, I am. I'm always a supporter of everybody out there who will make it happen. So good for you. Way to go. Keep going. Keep going. It's wonderful. I, I tell Adam, it's it's uh, it's amazing sociology you know, to be out there human beings right. making things. Uh, well, I see. We're going to the panel. You're going to the panel. Do you recognize me without the beard? Text me. Yeah, I, I it didn't even. Yeah, that's me. I'm the guy who like. I'm gonna push you like you're on a court. You're outside on posters, okay? But it's all just pretend. Hey Tom, so yeah. good to see you, old friend. Good to see you, old Man, friend. It's been like is this a bit we're doing right now? Darn cat. It's not a bit at all. <laughs> this is really natural we're from our friends. actual life. Yeah. Oh wow. Best you friends. Have a poster for me to sign? I do. It's so important. Let me push back the rest of the line. <laughs> Wait a minute. We've got a very important. Now I might help. I'm officially the jerk of the line. Right. This is it. This is we'll amazing. make this quick, Tom. Yeah. I don't know if you're the jerk. This is historical. We did wait in line, though. I've we had did this wait in line. Since I was in middle school. Silver, you want? Yeah, Whatever. this was on my mom's, my bedroom at my mom's house since I was in middle school. And I took it out of the frame today for the first time since 2003. Hey, Mike, have you ever heard the term too much information? <laughs> Okay. No, I haven't. It was on mom's wall. It was on mom's At wall. Her middle She's school. the biggest fan. I had to sit, take her to see Camp Nowhere six times. And then she found out you were another cop in that darn cat, and we saw that one. Micah knows your whole mom, IMDb. Mom, mom has you. taste. <laughs> Maybe not in sons, but in movies. <laughs> no, he, thanks, Tom. Yeah, yeah dude, thanks, Tom. Appreciate you, man. Take your poster and get up. Will do. Now that we've held up the line for about 18 minutes, yeah, we're gonna carry on. All right, I'll see you at the panel. I'll see you at the panel. Four guy in the, in the jacket. We're gonna, we got, we'll be up front. Will you be up front? Close to it, yeah. Oh, okay. We're gonna try yeah. to get there early. So. Oh, okay. All yeah. right. See you, Tom. Cool again. Great to see you. We will now return to talking to actual human beings. Dang, that's cold. That's cold. Stop this vlog. <laughs> that's cold. The vlog is over. <laughs> now you can't do the panel. Now you're done. I'm just going to end the video right now. Dang, that was good. See you, Tom. Adam, can I get a selfie with you? That's kind of cool. I don't, see, I don't think I've ever seen anybody with a Hill Valley two mile sign. That's awesome. This is awesome. This is awesome. The full family here, the McFly family. There it is. <laughs> there we go. Love it. Awesome. Thank you. That's awesome. It's Jackie. Super enthused. Always with the hat tip. That's why I was ready. That's your move right there, the hat tip. So have you seen anything relating to Back to the Future here? Yes. What? Um, I saw the car. I saw all the people dressed up behind me. Okay. You saw a DeLorean, Time I Machine? DeLorean, I did, yes. What aisle was that, August? Micah so and I, I want to go. by the food area. It's right next to all the other cars. So okay. Kit is up there. Okay, Night uh, Rider. Apollo from Supernatural, which I actually paid to take pics with and in. I've seen that. Very exciting. Yeah. Okay, you're normal guy now. Normal guy. Normal guy. Watch this. Hey, fans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, how are you, my friends? Good to see you. Be a DeLorean over here and check it out. There's even a hoverboard over here as well, which is nice. Yeah. Take a look at this. There we go. There we go. So, are you gonna see the uh, members again? Maybe, yeah, we might see them. That's gonna be funny. If, if Tom does something like that again, that would be best. He already did it. He actually grabbed my camera today already. Yeah, he grabbed my camera and did the same thing. That's like his move. Are you recording? I'm recording right now, yeah. Yeah, I'm showing your card here. 20 bucks? All right. I'm kidding. Don't do you take that. you take uh, check personal checks. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. How much is the 
Uh, it's, there's a raffle. This is gonna be, we're gonna raffle this off. We're gonna raffle this off. Oh, I think you sell it. Sure. There we go. Another Marty part two here. The one and only Teen Wolf has arrived. How you doing, Scott? Seen Styles around anywhere? Not lately, but no. it's around here somewhere. I I'll keep an eye out. I'll send. I'll tell them you're here if I see him. Yeah. Good to see you, TW. Yeah. Hi, Baby Todd. How are we feeling? Yeah. All right. Are you guys ready for an incredible Back to the Future panel? Yes. Let's keep that energy going. It is my absolute privilege to introduce to you. We have Tom Wilson. Two hours before it finally came out. Holy cow, there's a blast of AC. Picture time, picture first. Everyone smile. Please, there we go. Hi guys, welcome to Orlando. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you guys for doing this panel. We're so excited. Let's get right to some questions. And then we also have some fan submitted questions from our friends in the audience. So, <laughs> We want to know, in addition to the DeLorean, what are some of your favorite inventions or technology that were used in any of the films? <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Well, I, I think the TV with a bunch of TVs inside of it was kind of the best. Yes, they had. The flying car didn't work out so well, so far. But, you know, that TV or historical event, where would you guys like to time travel to? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Actually, so many of those. I'm thinking. <laughs> I'd go back and see your play that I missed. I, yeah, Richard, Richard III. What was the play? King Lear. King Lear, okay. I will go back to see him and King Lear, which I missed and I still regret. Aww. He's a genius. Hey, so can you give me a beard to him? Oh, really? Can I, can I, can I say, you running the questions back to Chris reminds me that I want to thank this show. Where would you go, Tom? I would go. Yeah. Uh, I would go like uh, like the. I would go to uh, December twenty fifth, zero 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 zero. <laughs> to see with the cows and the donkeys. You know, see if the see if the little drummer boy could actually play the thing. You know. <laughs> um, I think in pop culture, as a musician, I would like to go back to the Cavern Club in Liverpool. Yes. Beatles. Yeah. See. And see the Beatles perform in this apparently closed, dank place where something unbelievably exciting was happening uh, artistically. You know, something new, and just everyone was like, "Wow!" And now we've accepted it so much into our culture, but but uh, but it really revolutionized music what, until now, 2024, and people are still going, "Man, I mean." I wanna hold your hand. It's good. I, I was thinking about uh, I did a guy a TV movie with Woody Allen, and he was at uh, on the cruise sitting around a uh, uh, bowl, bowl of peanuts and, and uh, eating this bowl of peanuts. And we were talking about uh, uh, time travel, and, and Woody came kind of came up and heard what we were talking about, and we, we turned and said to, said Woody Woody if you go into any time other than uh, than now where would you go? And he said. No time before the invention of penicillin. He's <laughs> <laughs> such a great Woody Allen. And um, uh, so I, I'm, I'm all for that. I, I do. Any time after the invention of penicillin. Christopher? Christopher, will you that question? I'm thinking. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> 
unusual places that you guys have been recognized. <laughs> We'll circle back. The men's room. I told you never to mention that, Leah. I got off the plane in Hong Kong, made it through Chinese customs, and a man was literally pulling a rickshaw. I don't mean to be culturally insensitive. I, I truly, but he's pulling the rickshaw by me dropped the bars of the rickshaw, and just went, Back to the future! <laughs> so, man, that thing gets around. Wow. Uh, I was taking a bicycle trip across the country, literally from Oceanside or somewhere to Nova Scotia. And uh, I was going across the desert, and it was hot. I was very aware about, you know, running out of water. There were signs like, da, 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 da. why are you doing this? Okay. So good looking. Oh, okay. And, and so I go across, and uh, um, there was like a trestle going across between the sand dunes. And I got off the bike and uh, went down below. and lit up, and just, you know, in the shade, catch my breath, and I hear a vehicle cross the bridge and slow down and stop, and my bicycle and everything I, you know, possessed is up there, a little bit. And, and a few months later, this guy leans over the edge of the bridge and looks down, and he sees me, and he looks at me, and he goes, Reverend Jim. <laughs> There's no follow-up on that. <laughs> oh, man. Michael, any unique places that you've been recognized? Um, let me see. I, 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 I get recognized everywhere. So, um. <laughs> Recognize it's kind of weird. Like I, I just assume, and it's terrible. I don't mean this to be arrogant or anything. But I just assume people know who I am, <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 they, and they do, and it's really weird. And, and what's really great is when they're not impressed. <laughs> like, oh, Mike, yeah, just gonna go back. <laughs> back line, back line. No, no further. <laughs> so, so um, but it's weird. It's, it, I, I've been, uh, I've been well known for like forty years. Yeah. Yeah. It's really weird. Because I'm 38 years old. <laughs> but it's just weird. It's, it, it, I understand it. Like to say, it's not to suck up, but but it's really been one of the great things in my life. That all you folks know who I am, and, and I tell you, I know who you are, and we have this great communication that that is like just reinforced today. Just to be with you and see you all, and then have you come up. up. Uh, when when I first uh, I was asked to do one of these things years ago, and, and I thought, well, it'd be kind of cool because. I'll do it, and I'll get to I'll get to um to 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 to, to show up for people that show up for me and 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 say hello to you and all that stuff. And then I realized I, I wasn't doing it for you. I was doing it for me because you guys give me so much. And in in my life, all the blessings in my life come from you. And I appreciate it. And I'm to get that out. Hundreds and hundreds of people, and uh, I'm in line behind hundreds of people with my passport and everything. And the, uh, the officer, the customs officer, U.S. Customs, points at me. Now, sometimes I get taken for you know extra screening or something for stuff. So I'm not. I don't think what you think. I think I'm thinking. Oh no, they're going to take me to the room and the whole thing. And so I'm, I'm like, excuse me, pardon me. Pardon me, yeah, pardon me, excuse me. I finally get to the front, and he says, Did you fly a DeLorean to get back here? A little bit about the Back to the Future ride. Yeah.
Amazing. Can you guys tell us a little bit about filming the additional footage going on? The world's my future. Yeah, I. Well, I, I used to take the ride a lot. One day I was at Universal. I think I rode it four times consecutively. Wow. I didn't feel that well afterwards. <laughs> But it was an interesting experience. See, Tom, we've got some, you know, special needs kids, Make-A-Wish Foundation, Starlight Foundation. Could you come and take the ride with some kids? Oh. And of course, you, want, you know, of course. So I live close to the close to the park. So you come down to the park, you do the ride, and I do the ride like, about three times, and you're just like, I am not well. <laughs> I don't feel good at all. <laughs> so I get off the third time and I think, I, I, I have to stop, I have to stop. Tom, this is Mikey, he missed the bus to come here. <laughs> you go on the ride. So I'm going on this ride with the kid. Dear God, please don't let me throw up on a special needs kid. <laughs> And I, and I kept it together, just barely. <laughs> but that was about it. For the Back to the Future ride, I would say, I'll give the kid a thousand bucks. How about that? If I don't ride it out. <laughs> to an, what is it now? An ad? The Simpsons. Look, we all know that Simpsons stuff isn't going anywhere. <laughs> But it's Simpsons now, but it was it was far. Do you guys, if I could talk to you uh, just a second about the ride, which was incredible, the Douglas Trumbull thing. So I see the models that they built for Hill Valley, that they are going to, it's not computer graphics, they're going to have to run a camera through this model that they built of Hill Valley. So all of the lines, all of the buildings are curved. Like the, they're, they're lamp posts and they have a curvature to them and everything, it's a, it's a very unusual looking model of the city. So I, well, why, why is everything curved like that? And just, well, that's Tom because it's a dome and we're going to be projecting the film into a dome so that we've factored in the dome so that all of these curved lines will appear straight. <laughs> Like they had smart people who were good at math. It was like when they when they kept converting the courthouse square to different times. It's it's just a, it's it's so magical to be part of something like that with the cars and the costumes and all the extras and the that particular um, scene was so uh, so perfectly crafted by Bob Zemeckis. I'm a director. So uh, I, I've grown more and more to appreciate the, um, the precision that he used to make that movie and the music, how powerful the music is. Because, you know, there's a musical now. Yeah. Of course, nobody portrays us as well as we did. Oh, I've got a couple pairs of Tom, this is Crispin Glover, and we, we meet and we went outside, worked on the scene. and. It, halfway through, I thought, well, I don't know if I'm doing this mythic, but if they don't hire this guy, they're out of their minds, man. It was, uh, it, 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 it made uh, the, the, it took the level of the scenes to magic with, uh, with what he was doing. Well, he, he was such a nerd, and that's like a great kiss. Yeah. I mean, you know, that, that yes. is an extraordinary kiss. And still, to my children, I'll point to my wife when we're headed out and say, yes, I'm going out. With her. <laughs> and of course, the incredible guitar playing by Mr. Fox. I never had the guitar band teacher. <laughs> oh, I can't hear a word you guys are saying, so so I'm um I, I, I if I if I don't jump in, it's not that I, I'm not interested or I don't care. I have nothing to say. I just can't hear what you're saying. But, but I want to go back to one thing if I can, because you were talking about the ride. The ride, the ride was really cool because the ride was um uh, uh, at Universal Studios. We were uh, when we were shooting uh, part two. They had the ride up, I think, or something.
because I would go down to the to the thing and I'd go in the back door and, and there was this, like, what the ride was, was basically a rocking chair in front of a big screen TV. <laughs> that, that, that was as advanced as the technology was, because you just sat next chair and <laughs> and, TV, and I thought, this is it? I mean, it was, it was really cool, and, and, and it, yeah, I'll be home in a second. <laughs> All of the hoverboards, you know the flying hoverboards, and they had, they had actual hoverboards with, a, with like piano wire going from the rear of the hoverboard, uh, at the front of the hoverboard, and coming through our harness to go up to this crane. So they made the hoverboards of a certain size, they made the, all the piano wires of a certain size that fit everyone. Everyone fit inside the wires and could fly up. So we went out to a ranch. Uh, to, to rehearse on the hoverboards and see and lifted it up. So they lift us up on the hoverboards. Well, I get on my hoverboard and the wires come right at my chest. Like this. So they start spinning us around to fly and everyone's like, ho ho, this is fun! And I'm just going, ah! So, so I'm telling there's a, there's a shot where we're, we're swinging toward the camera, and I'm gripping the camera, and I'm doing that drift grimace thing, because I am looking like, ah! And we got nice purple lines that went right down my chest. Even in the, because in the rehearsals out at the ranch, I said, this is, I can't do, can you move the wires and the hoverboard? You know, stuntmen, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell us about the scene and maybe did you have to practice making that face in a mirror? No, I think that was a one take deal. <laughs> Third, fourth, fifth, tenth take, I don't know which, but I had no idea I was going to be sitting here today and I would see that. <laughs> With the, the paper, I guess that's their question. I'm with you on this one. <laughs> uh, we'll talk about the, the scene with the paper, where, uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> I, I didn't watch the movies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. There, I mean, sure, I think we covered it, yeah? Did we, we cover it? Perfect. I think you covered it. Yeah, we got it. Yep, I was too cute. Yeah, we got it. All right, well, we do have some more fan-submitted questions. Uh, this one is for you, Tom. This is from David from Orlando, Florida. Woohoo, <laughs> Orlando. They want to know about your song, Stop Asking Me the Question. Uh-oh. And getting to sing it in front of some of your fellow cast members. I, I have sung it in front of my fellow cast members. I won't sing it tonight because I, you know, I just, I, come to my table. <laughs> bring some, I don't know, those peanut butter M&Ms or something. something. <laughs> I don't do it for free. Uh, I, was, I was working as, you, as a stand-up comedian uh, of all around this uh, great land of ours. Anyway, I would spend... Uh, all night till 3 30 in the morning standing in the parking lot of a nightclub or a theater answering questions to people that just wanted to talk about back to the future after my show and i just thought it was just a f fixing a problem like i've got to go and go home to the hotel and sleep i need something so i wrote a song just to answer all the questions but both, both things to answer the questions and to communicate in a funny way that yeah, I've heard that before. <laughs> and uh, there was a scene in Back to the Future 3 uh, in the kind of where, where Doc had his, was doing his stuff. And, uh, what? Huh? Land pipe? <laughs> 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 oh no, were you doing a lot of explanation? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, there was in this scene there was a uh, elaborate, huge 
mechanical device, a machine, and it made ice. Ice tea? And the ice, you know, there was steam all over, moving parts, and then a cube of ice was brought down. Yep. And I had arrived immediately after it dropped, as I recall. Also during the scene, uh, the, the steam engine, the train was coming into the railroad station, which could be viewed from that space, as I recall. The camera angled down there, and Clara arrived, or Clara was getting on the thing, or whatever. And the, the arrival of the train, and my say the ice dropping out of me saying that line was all kind of coordinated. Oh. And I had a simple line when the ice came out. And I don't remember what it was, but it was, <laughs> it was nothing complicated. And on one of the takes, I couldn't remember the line. <laughs> so the steam engine had to come back <laughs> to the station. The ice machine had to be started up again, and they had to go through the entire routine all over because of a damn cube of ice. <laughs> I don't know why I told that story. I had a, I had a real pulse. It was kind of like a confession. <laughs> That took forever, and that was so hard. The entry, en entry into the, uh, the Hill Valley Festival in the Old West was one of those shots coming all, like, off of my horse, into the town, through dancers and everything. All kinds of things are happening, and horses are running and everything. And then the gentleman, I'm not, just, it's happened to me, and Bert, Bert, I think, and he had that for me. Yeah, gentlemen, the, the Smith and Wesson, or whatever, 45 million, you know, and it came right on him. And we had to do that shot a number of times because he's coming off and you just go like, ladies and gentlemen, let him out. <laughs> okay, back it up, horses back up. With that, with that, in front of the courthouse when I was being hung. And, and we doing the same, and, and, and we did the thing, and I'm being hung, and I'm playing my legs and stuff. And, 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 and Bob said, I don't know, it doesn't look right. And I said, I said, Bob, watch this. Do it again. Watch this. You're about to see some acting. That's <laughs> <laughs> the best acting you've ever seen. I will nail this. And so we did it. And, and what happened when my hand slipped, and, and, and the rope went around my neck, and, and I was and, and I was officiated. And, and, I, and I passed out. Oh. And I was flipped out. My legs were flipping around, and I was oh, out. Oh, my goodness. And, 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 and then we came back, and I came to him, and he said, that was great. <laughs> Bob, you still have to kill me. <laughs> and, 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 and I was, I was out. I, was, I, I didn't go to the hospital. I, it, was, it was an amazing thing. But, but, it was, um, but that's how badly we wanted to, 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 to be pressed by. Thing. And we have so many, all of us have so many interactions. And it's, it's funny in a way, because those inexpressible things about your family, about about watching it when you were sick from school, about dad bringing it home for the new VCR, about all of those things, they're, they're expressible, but they're kind of inexpressible, you know? Yeah. And people come up so much, and sometimes tears in your eyes, sometimes trembling, and tr I'm, you know, saying, I'm trying to communicate what it's meant to me, you know? But it's, it's, some, it's, some, it's that magic, it's movie magic, literally. Yeah. Because, you know, I just, well, thank you very much. I understand what you mean. And everybody's like, I don't think you do. <laughs> it's really something, you know, and, and, um, and it's something for us, too. And it's, and it's very moving and wonderful uh, to be able to affect so many people's lives around the world. Yeah. Around the world. It's an amazing thing, you know, for just a movie. A movie about a guy who goes in a time machine car and meets his mom and dad. And, and, and drug music has been part of my life. And, and now, you know, and not to be modest or uh, not to brag, but just a cool thing. Imagine how cool this is for a guy who loved music, played music and played bands all his life. When John Mayer or, or Chris Martin comes up to you and says, I play guitar because of the fact that you Wow. Um, that, that,
that's what the rest of the movie is. Because when John Merritt played, he said, oh, I have to play with the guitar. Uh -huh. and, and now he's like one of the best star players in the world. And, and he does my little faking. <laughs> uh, yeah, but but uh, it's cool. It's, it's, and it's with so many gifts that come from doing this village. And now it's one of these. And I've enjoyed so much, you know, getting fist fights behind a dumpster in Las Vegas. It's a lot of fun. It's an honor. <laughs> okay, so to wrap up the panel, we have a quick game we're going to play. And we're going to see if you guys are all on the same page or if you guys have different answers. So this is, how well do you guys know each other? Oh. Who? And he wouldn't notice. <laughs> this must be a deserted island, Chris. We're on Manhattan. <laughs> Where's the craft service kit? <laughs> Who's the biggest prankster? Uh oh. Uh, Who's the biggest prankster? Oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> I just try to have fun with things. <laughs> All right. How about who's the best dresser? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been anything, so I nominate myself. There you go. <laughs> I had to wear that darn pink dress. Ever. I almost wore that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've had a sparkly cool one. Show it on. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Michael. You're my mother. You're my, you're my mom. <laughs> All right, that turned out really awesome. A nice standing ovation for everyone. It's good seeing the four. That was a really, really good panel. Talked about a lot of stuff, and I've seen, you know, I've seen a lot of the, a lot of stuff about the movie over the years. All, all the director commentary, behind the scenes. I've even watched a lot of stuff and seen a few panels. And they actually talked about some stuff that I hadn't ever seen them talk about before. Repeated some things, but there was some stuff they hadn't talked about. So it, I think that was a really excellent panel between the four of them. Loved it. I know that shirt. You know this shirt? Yes. You guys gave me this shirt. That's right. We all yes. have the same shirt. I, oh, you're wearing it too? Yep. We're that nice. Today. It's Christopher and Michael's exclusive shirt. You know, I, I thought about wearing it, but I opted for the Dave McFly Mickey shirt today. Oh, nice. Right here. Oh, that's awesome. Dave McFly. Oh, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, it's a like deep from cut. Photograph. Yeah. His head's gone. His head's gone. His head's it's like it's been erased. It's been erased. From existence. All right. That's going to do it for today. Back to the Future Reunion. That was awesome. Megacon begins. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.